Hi, it's Jennifer. I'm here to do another daily vibe for today because I want to know for this daily vibe, for those people that have moved on, okay, singles. This is for singles. Singles. What do we have for singles that are that are healed, that have moved on? Singles that are, have moved on, because that's what I want to know. I've, I I want to know. I want to know. What do we have for singles that are no longer holding on? Singles that are no longer holding on. They have let go. They are no longer holding on. Show me. Please show me what we have for singles that are no longer holding on. They, they have learned their lesson. They are not looking back. They don't want to go back. What do we have for these people that don't want to go back? They don't want a re they don't want a reconciliation. It's done. What do we have for those people that are completely single and do not want to go back? Oh, beautiful! You're headed in the right direction, and that's what came up at the end of the other reading. It makes sense. It truly does. It was right at the end, as I was saying. For those of you that moved on, it's fucking amazing how they work this out. Cancer. This is replacing fear. Replacing fear, you're headed in the right direction. Transformation, you're attracting something into your life. You are, because you're mastering your emotions. You're taking the lead, you're being the boss. You have found the, the willpower to succeed and victory is coming. Success is coming. You're headed in the right direction, thank you, Lord. Cancer. You're not allowing yourself to be taken advantage of. You're coming out of introspection. You will not be lonely. You will not be lonely. The time of loneliness is coming to an end. It will come to an end. Mm. No more power struggles. Be patient. It's coming. Be patient. Relief. This is a card of relief. No, the loneliness is going to go away because you have decided that you are not going to be naive and take advantage of being taken advantage of. You have let a contract end. The wrong contract. Okay, this is the end of a contract. You have mastered your emotions. You have found the strength to dissolve this contract. That is, this is a contract dissolving. Lesson learned. Thank you, God. Taking back control. Closing your heart to this contract that is not compatible. Beautiful. So for those of you that have moved on. And you are no longer looking back. You're gone. Gone, 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 gone. You may decide, be deciding to travel. You may be deciding to really not focus on love at this time, okay? Maybe you're deciding that right now I just need to get myself, get my life back on track. It feels as though you, there is definitely some travel here. For those of you that have moved on, there's definitely some travel. You may be planning on traveling, planning on moving. Thinking about it, you are. You're probably thinking about moving or traveling at this time. Here we have this this um, King of Wands. That's Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It's in reversed. Lack of confidence in something. Lack of confidence, lack of ambition. Lack of focus, you know, and it's mirroring this. I think that I think that right now you may be that you those of you that have truly moved on and you don't want to go back, you don't want to go back. You may be not really 
wanting to get into another relationship right now. Maybe you're trying to regain. You're trying to regain your focus. You're trying to restore the structure. You're trying to, you know, get yourself back to where you need to be because you have been, you know, chained to something for so long. You need to take that time to, you need to take that time to restore, you know, to, to figure out who, what, when, and where, you know, to get down to the nitty gritty here. I'm not sure if I zoomed this in. I did. Um, so yeah, you guys may just be deciding, you know, that right now it's, love isn't on the agenda, okay? But it feels as though you guys have learned a lesson. You may be deciding that, yeah, I'm going to start to come out of my shell. I am. I'm going to start to come out of my shell, but I'm not in a hurry because this is, this is patience and this is reluctance, okay, in reverse, reluctant to to get into another relationship right now, to open your heart up again. And I think you're still going through a period of healing for those of you. You're going through a transformation right now. This is a transformation card. So I feel for those of you that have moved on, it's probably a time where you're not ready to take any risks because I'm not ready. I'm really not ready to take a risk on love right now as I am have just completed one phase and... I'm, I'm really regaining the power that has been lost. So I feel like those of you that have truly moved on, you are going through some sort of transformation that is probably involving big, big, big moves, okay? Big moves. Because when you complete one cycle, okay, because when the world card comes up outright, upright, you've completed a major, a major project or or phase, or chapter in your life, and major, something that was long-term, something that had a big effect on you. So when you complete that phase, it's not like you can just step out of it. You know, yeah, the phase is completed, but you you got to slowly ease into the next one. And I think that's what's happening here, is that you are, you're restoring control. You've taken back your power, and you're easing into the next chapter, okay? So I feel like you do have a major new beginning here. It probably involves travel or moving. I think that um, you may not be ready to um, jump into another relationship right now. You may feel like you, you're, you just need time to regather. You know, that's what I see, regathering here. It's like it's needed. It's needed. It's time to regather. But I don't see you going back and not wanting to go back. Okay, or, and, and it's like you almost aren't, you aren't, well, let me get some clarifiers. Is there new love here? Is there new love? Because, you know, it feels like somebody may not want to be in a relationship right now. You know, I might not want to be in a relationship. I just want to travel. I want to have fun. I'm going through a transformation. I need time for me. I need time to master my emotions. You know, I need time to regain my focus and my concentration. Um... Yeah, because it feels like you've, you may feel like you've been robbed, you've been cheated, and, you know, you need to, be, and maybe you just need to be careful, and that's where you're at. You know, I need to be careful right now. I, I don't want to be taken advantage of. I don't want to act recklessly. So you may be deciding that right now you just need to be alone, because she's a very independent. She's very independent, very, and this woman could usually I mean she's very independent woman okay so I feel as though you may be at the point you know what where I'm I'm developing a new outlook for myself I'm trying to see things through different um, lenses and at this time I'm not able to open my heart you know to a new opportunity because I'm still dealing with this transformation that I'm going through I feel as though you are probably very guarded at this time. Because, I mean, if you feel like you've been robbed, even though you've let go, there's still healing to do. There is. You have to let go of that mentality, and that's what's happening. You're, you're working on that mentality of being treated unfairly. You know, you can't, you probably have realized that during this time of introspection that, you know, I, I need to be able to open my heart fully before I get into another relationship. Okay, so I feel like right now you are developing a new perspective and you may not, um, 
you may not want to be impractical at this time. You know, I want something solid. I want something stable. I want something secure. And in order for me to do that, I'm going to have to devote my time and energy and be disciplined in, in taking back my power. You know, I'm going to have to find that discipline to make myself secure, you know. So, is there new love? For those of you that have moved on. Now, this isn't for the couples that are holding on. So, don't try to turn it around. I know there's going to be somebody that will probably watch this and say, Oh, no, no, this is me, 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 me. No. Somebody is being practical being wise taking the time to build themselves up so when they do get to that partnership they can have a solid foundation do I see new love at this time no I see that somebody is going through a transformation as they have just released a partnership that was karmic And they are being as practical as they can to allow this process to unfold as it should. And that's what I see for those of you that have moved on. Patience is needed. And I think that somebody is being patient. You know, that's what I see. It's like, I'm not sure I'm ready for a new contract. That's what I have. Talk to you next time.